Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you. Um, so just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. And um, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board, hands down. You guys have been the bestest people to me in the whole entire world, in my whole entire life. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much for everything you do that helps this channel grow. And yes, give yourself a pat on the back. And, um, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, so Cancers, um, I feel like your person is, uh, overall, they're just, they want to hear from you. I feel like they don't know if they can come forward or not, um, because you've got your hand up. You're like, no, man, no, 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 no. And this is a tragedy to this person. They feel very crushed about this. Um, so they're they're kind of hoping, praying that they hear something from you. Um, they're open, they're accepting, and they're welcoming and receptive for um, any kind of sign from you. But I, like I said, I feel like you're just done with this. You're like, this is a tragedy. <laughs> I am not forbidden love. And I, I get the camera out of my face. Like you, you just, you just don't want any more of this I feel like this kind of energy you know and it is a tragedy um because I feel like that I feel like you have real love for this person you know and I feel honestly I feel like they have real love for you they know that they turn their back on this soulmate connection here with you cancer um and they've been hiding it they're in a lot of regret here for everything that went down whatever went down between you guys. I feel like they put you in a third party, made you sit here um, in stagnancy while they had to make a decision. This person knows that they want you. They know that with you, they could hold the world in their hands, okay? They could make their world however they want it. But you just, you have your hand up here because it's like you've just had enough of the energy. You've had enough of forbidden love here. I feel like you've got a lot of pentacles because I'm seeing these buttons on your sleeve, especially as the pentacles that you have, like a lot of abundance and a brand new beginning here. Um, and you're just like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I am no forbidden love. This is a tragedy for your person. And they're crying. This is a very emotional time. With all of these roses, that's like, um, geez, it's almost like they're, they're feeling a, a, you know, something dying here. You know what I mean? And it's just, ugh, it's, I feel like your person just feels sick inside, you know, crying, very emotional cancer really emotional here yeah and thinking about you feeling crushed this is how your person feels crushed sad broken they're feeling alone um, this could be how you feel too but I'm not getting that I'm getting a sense of you know what I'm just done that's I'm outie you know you don't want any um, publicity about this you know attention about this you just wanna you just want to be done um, that's kind of what I'm feeling like here and it's leaving your person just feeling totally crushed sad broken regretful sorrowful wishing they could hear from you a bit hopeless because they see this going down right they see the ship sinking here very pessimistic about this and feeling defeated that's the one that pops out at me the most and look at all of the waves of emotion <sighs> waves of emotions all right coming and going uh, um yeah all the waves <sighs> this is all that emotion i'm telling you they're very emotional right now over this loss embarrassed how they cover up, hang their head, 
hiding how they feel maybe I feel like um, you know I, I compare this person to the hermit a lot because of the outfit that this person wears okay um, so yeah I feel like this person is going within and just not showing this is intense emotion here is what I'm feeling like hopelessness defeat waves of emotion coming and going or it's your energy but I'm feeling like this is your person uh, and that you know here's the main issue here right up front I feel like one this person is um, they're selfish they're not there they only want more money they're very kind of they're all all about money okay and they're constantly on this hamster wheel and it's almost like the more they want the more they have to try to survive okay this is someone who's just trying to survive the daily hustle i feel also like they have this um insatiable thirst for you and to get their mind off of um, off of that or at least try they've been spending a lot of time trying to um, earn their money here working a lot of time working in a hamster wheel but they're not getting very far I feel like um, they're just surviving barely surviving the daily hustle here it says I feel like they're low on their funds even though they spend a lot of time working bottom of the deck we've got this person wants to reunite because you're their wish fulfillment you are their wish fulfillment this person though is um, they're needing to make a decision between two different people and I feel like there's one here that's like permanently affixed okay so maybe someone's being very clingy or they're just hanging on to somebody I don't know but um you're their wish fulfillment here and I feel like something else is coming to an end for your person tower moment because they've been sitting in stagnancy but the divine knows what it is that they want they really want you whether they see you as forbidden love or whether you're like you know what no no I am forbidden like Lilu, you know um, never without my permission right Sorry, I don't, you guys don't know who Lilu is. Yeah, that's what they showed me was the orange hair. So, um, for, oh, what movie is that? Oh, gosh, dang it. It's with Bruce Willis and Lilu. <laughs> anyway, that's what they showed me, never without my permission. Yeah, you're like, I, I think you're just turning this person, you're turning this whole, all this energy away. And I feel like you've got a new beginning here coming and something's ending for your person as you move forward here. It's the end of a cycle here no matter what. It's that and that's the universe speaking, okay? Your person needs very much to end a cycle. I feel like, you know, with this bracket, this one bracket here is the thing that bothers me the most. I can't figure out this bracket, okay? Either... Um, either your person just keeps somebody permanently affixed to them um, but doesn't pay any attention to them because they only want you or something here someone is it feels like it's permanently affixed or someone's very clingy or something that bracket is what's bothering me okay but I feel like that's what's coming to an end here they've got to blow the whole tower up to get rid of this freaking bracket whatever is that your person has been hanging on to or whatever sticks around your person I don't know that's coming to an end that's the a completion to this to the old cycle so the new one you know can start here I feel like that's what's happening as you move forward I'm also seeing this as you person watching you know and it, you, that's why you, you're this person's wish fulfillment one it's because you're the person they cannot have 
and two it's because you're absolutely freaking amazing you have learned your lessons from the last cycle you are moving forward you're confident here you're showing yourself to the world whatever talents whatever um, special abilities you have you're showing yourself with confidence and balanced your emotions are balanced out you know what it is that you want and the things that you don't want as you enter into a brand new abundant brand new cycle you're intuitive here with this purple sash wrapped around you and sexy AF and you're starting that you're stepping into a new cycle brilliantly I feel like this is you but I feel like your person this old cycle stuff needs to close out too that's what this world card part of it is is the old cycle ending so a new one can begin okay and that's the universe speaking yeah whatever your person has been investing in they've been feeling very aggravated too by the look on this person's face whoever they're giving their money to money a hamster wheel they're just trying to survive but they're supporting others I feel that are wrapped in tattered blankets so I don't know if these people have a job or not it doesn't appear to me like they do um, but your person is like providing for them providing for them and uh, yeah this is coming to an end I'm seeing a king and a queen being knocked out of a tower this could very well be um, a commitment with that bracket but this whole foundation has to come down in order to get rid of that bracket you know what I mean like that's that's a very strong bracket that's been hanging on and hanging on and hanging on yeah the divine has to blow up the whole thing just to get rid of that bracket so take the take that however it is for you but this is coming to an end yeah because it was it was toxic you know your person was like chained to this attached to this somehow um, it could be an addiction maybe that they were refusing to let go of it could be a toxic relationship that clung on for um, years and years and years maybe that this person didn't want to let go of or somebody didn't want to let go of them and uh, you know this this is something where your person somewhere where they're like having a fire lit on their butt right and they're they've got their hand out trying to reason with this other person here that they're attached to like um yeah this isn't working for me anymore um it's starting to burn my butt cheeks here I'm blistering over here right getting kind of aggravated um giving to this right and um can you can we just can you release me please you know I feel I feel like the devil's having way too much fun burning your person right now wherever they are they feel pretty burned they feel burned because they're investing everything into something toxic and uh what they really want is you and I feel like you've leveled up in every area of your life your world okay you, the whole world around you right now looks different I feel like um, it's because of all the effort you put in and being divinely led um, your person wants to communicate now they want to take some action here feeling really tired of being stuck in this devil situation here with this whoever this is bracketed to the wall yeah and the divine is helping them out by bringing down the tower this person wants to communicate with you here they're thinking about what they're going to say um let's call out some signs okay um that you could be dealing with an aquarius or an air sign you could be dealing with a scorpio i'm feeling also taurus virgo um capricorn you could be dealing with any fire sign but yeah they're thinking about what they want to say to you um, this is someone who's a very good communicator really super smart person this is also somebody I always see as being like large and in charge okay large and in charge bold 
very bold. Um, but this is someone too who has to sit and kind of think, hmm, how do I want to communicate with cancer? I need to be strategic about this, right? I need to plan what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. I need to really put a lot of thought into this communication. So that's what this person is doing because, yeah, they're about to communicate. <laughs> oh, thank you, Divine. Yes, the, the Divine just had my back on that one. Yeah, they're about to communicate. <laughs> Here comes this page of pentacles. They're thinking about this as a king, but this um, this communication's gonna be commu like beginning stage stuff, okay? Um, and I feel like they do wanna come towards you sincerely. It, it's going to be sincere, um, but it's gonna be like small, okay? Um, but this is something, this is communication that is going to make you feel really good. The Page of Pentacles, when they come forward, um, it just it just brightens your day, okay? It's going to brighten your day. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I feel like you may even be completely silent about this. Um, you're going to be just kind of like sitting in silence, maybe just listening to what they have to say. You know, the high priestess doesn't say anything, doesn't say anything, just uses their intuition. Big, bright eyes here. I feel like your eyes are going to be really focused on every little thing you can possibly pick up about this person and this communication. So you're going to be looking for any kind of red flags, any bead of sweat, anything. <laughs> You're going to be looking for it, and you're going to be listening very closely, picking up on any any kind of sign, using your intuition and your discernment. Um, I really feel like this is your energy. As they come forward, you just sit and listen very intently as they make their approach. You know, this has been very slow coming, but this person, if you if you allow them to speak, Cancer, if you allow them to make their initial approach, right, and listen to what they have to say, that offer starts bumping up, okay? Then they start telling you, look, I really want to make this stable between us. I re it, is there, what can I do, what can I do to gallantly make this better, okay? That's, and this has been a very slow moving offer, but now it's starting to come in really fast. Because um, you walking away and not wanting to give this any, any more energy um, is making your person, it's just crushing them. It's crushing them. It's crushing, it's crushing them. You know, it's like somebody sitting on their chest, you know? Um, it could be like they're they could be having some anxiety issues over this um very very sad feeling very yeah this person they definitely want to even think even things out i don't want to say it like that smooth things out make bring stability to this they could be bringing you gifts here um but yeah this is this is the best night in the deck because they want to resurrect this thing, I feel. This is something that uh, may be coming to an end, and they don't want it to end. Once again, we're heavy on the Scorpio, guys. I've got to do a Cancer versus Scorpio today. I still have, you, I still have that on my list. Um, so be watching for that. But yeah, they don't want this to come to an end. They want to get you to calmer waters. You know... I just don't like where you are sitting in this boat with all these swords around you. You're facing them. So when they come forward, you know, yeah, it's good to listen to this person, but don't let them don't let them cover up the things that you have to say. You need to also feel like you need to speak. Okay? That's that. If you have something to say, you need to say it, Cancer, okay, when they come forward. Yeah, but this person is hanging on to you. 
you're, they find you very sexy, very cool, um, and uh, headstrong. You're going after the things you want that are going to make you happy. Um, very intuitive. Very, very intuitive. And you're, they know that you're not going to waste your time or allow anyone to play any games with you. They already know that. They already know that because they've already seen you got your hand up, you're warning them like Lilu, not without my permission. Um, oh, what is that movie? Guys, please help me drop. <laughs> Dang it, because that's what they keep showing me, not without my permission every time I look at this card. Um, what movie is that? It's with Bruce Willis. Oh, I hate it when they do this to me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Divine. I love it when you do this to me. They're helping me, but I don't. I can't give you all the info because I don't know what it is. Drop a line for me, guys, on, on in the comments. If you know this movie, please help. Um, so anyway, yeah, you have the best love to give. That's why they're hanging on. They, they want your love, Cancer. This is you. They want that love. They know uh, nobody's going to love them the way you do. The love that's in this cup right here is the... That's, that's the best love out of all of the cups in the whole entire deck. It's the most decorated, most ornate cup in the deck. It even is, is, is fancier than the Ace of Cups. Yeah. But you've got a lid on your love right now, just like you have your hand up here. And just like Lilu is, once again, I'm seeing it, not without my permission. Yeah, they hang on to your energy. They're just holding on and holding on. You could feel that. It could be making you feel kind of off. Um, because it is very intense here. And your person's putting a lot of thought into this, okay? Yeah. All right, let's see. What else do I want? Let's see what they have to say to you, Cancer. We already know that um, they, they're wishing, they're wishing that they could hear something from you, okay? That's one of the main things here. Um, they're wishing they could hear something from you because they're very nervous about coming forward. They don't know if you feel the same way that you used to. They don't know if they have a chance. They don't know if... if uh, they don't know what's going to happen when they come forward. But I don't see you reaching out to this person. Mm -mm. You've got your hand up. You're like, no. All right, let's give it a cut, guys. And then, that's not a very good cut, but whew, that got screwed up. Um, bottom of the deck. I've realized that I want you, and I don't want to be a player anymore. Okay, that's one of the things that um, is on this person's mind, definitely. They want to get away from this toxic situation. They, they want you. I've realized that I want you, and I don't want to be a player anymore. It's one thing this person wants to say. I miss holding you and touching your skin. Yeah. I don't want to let you go. Yeah, they feel crushed. I don't want to let you go. Yeah, Cancer. That's how your person feels, Cancer. Um, yeah. Anyway, my darlings, listen. Um, you need some rest. Take some time for you today, Cancers. Um, I'm going to take this into the extended, guys. Um, and go into the after tarot again, alright? Um, I want to see what's going to happen uh, in the future here. You know, is this person, you know, 
are things going to work out with you? I want to clarify this card a little bit better and dig in a little deeper. All right. So if you guys are interested in the extended, please follow me over to Patreon. There's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And um, Cancers, I love you guys. Um, you know, have a great Monday. Okay. And until next time, you guys, thank you very much. Take care of you and peace out.